These are two legendary dunks that you just don't see often, and I'm sure a lot of people don't even know about. Kicking it all the way back to 2003, Nike decided to make some Pro B dunk lows for LeBron James. During the same production time, we saw the Akron dunk lows, and then we saw the SVSM dunk lows. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA Show. Now looking at the outsole, you can see you have your all over red Nike dunk bottom, and then going to the midsole, you have your all white with the white stitch, and then going to the upper, you have a mixture of about four to five different materials. When it comes to the actual color blocking of this shoe, they decided to go with the same colors of the Ohio State flag. And honestly, I love the way they went about it when it comes to the color blocking and pattern. If you guys remember in the early 2000s, we saw a lot of dunks with this all over kind of color print like this, or something similar to this with the toe style like we see here on the Akron dunks. Even on the Air Force Ones back in that time, there were a lot of similar color blocking styles like this. Now looking at the front end of the shoe on the mud guard area, you're gonna have a smooth leather and then you're gonna have a texture right above that, more in like a shiny sheen kind of print on it. And it looks similar to like a basketball on that print all throughout the front end on the red area. And then the same thing here with the red on the eye stay going to the middle of the foot. Now on the vamp, you're gonna have your classic Nike dunk vamp and then you're gonna have your all white smooth leather with the perforations. And then these come standard with your matching red laces with the gold tips on the ends of those. Now on the back end of the shoe, you're gonna see the entire border of the state of Ohio stitched in black. And then where the gold star is at, that's where Akron is located on the map. And that's where LeBron is from. Now on that back panel right here, you're gonna have a navy blue suede. And honestly, it feels very, very nice. And you're gonna have that same hit here on the suede patch on the back end with the gold Nike branding. And it's not stitched actually, it's more stamped in with a colored print. Now on the side of the foot with that same gold hit on the star the tips the back end with the nike you're also going to have that shiny metallic patent leather gold on the outside of the foot and on the inside of the foot and continuing on with the gold hits you're going to have that same nike branding with the gold stitch here and then you're going to have the nike swoosh just below and because this is a pro b not a sb remember this is 2003 there was a lot of different versions back then and again if you guys want to see a full breakdown of all the different elements of nike dunk lows and sbs and pro b's and 6.0s and you name it let me know and i can make a video for you guys in the future and then on the back side of the tongue matching the inside of the collar you're gonna have your navy fabric with the gold stitch on the back of the patch and then this part i really love about the collar you have a premium navy leather all throughout the entire collar of the shoe just giving it even a more elevated vibe to this already rare sneaker now looking at the sock liner you're gonna have that same red as you see on the shoe strings or on the outsole or on the toe that's gonna be that same color there and then you're gonna have a gold lebron james logo here stamped on the heel hey yo just real quick i wanted to let you guys know we got a bunch of new merch on the website shopdnashow.com also you guys can click on any of the links of the product tag just below the video here if you're watching on your mobile devices i can't wait to see you guys rocking the gear whenever you cop something make sure you post it on ig so i can see it and then i'll repost it all right let's get back to the video now taking it over to the svsm dunk these things are insane because you have to remember Back in 2003, you weren't just seeing elephant print on all types of shoes. This was a rare commodity type thing, especially on samples and PEs. And then obviously we saw the Supreme Dunks and different things like that. But either way, to see this and then with the green instead of the classic cement print that we always see with the gray, oh my gosh. I have loved this shoe since the day I first saw these, which is, 20 years ago. But either way, let's go ahead and get into the details and show you guys how amazing this sneaker is. Looking at the outsole, you have your same thing here, all over green, classic to the SBSM colors. And then wrapping up to the midsole, you have your all white with the white stitch. And then to the upper, you're gonna have your two-tone color blocking pattern and then your gold swoosh here. But we're gonna get into that because there's some differences between the swooshes and stuff. But looking at the all over green, you got that elephant print with the black lining all throughout that. That's gonna be around the mud guard area, on the eye stay, the back end around the heel counter. And then they decided not to do the elephant print on the tab. They stayed consistent with that same green suede like you saw the blue suede, it's gonna be the same thing here with the gold print of the Nike branding on the back end around the heel. Now, like I was talking about earlier, when it comes to the swoosh, you can see you have that metallic gold swoosh, but the actual shade and color of the swoosh and even the slight texture, if you look at it, is a little bit different. So they didn't go with the same exact swooshes on these two sneakers. And honestly, 
it's rare that you get to see these two shoes side by side. That's why I wanted to put these all in the same video because these were given to LeBron all around the same time and you don't really see these too often online with just one shoe by itself, let alone the whole set. Now continuing on with the gold hits on the back end of the heel right here, you have that LeBron James logo, similar how we saw it printed on the sock liner of the Akron Pro B. And then also the same thing here, you're gonna have that gold stitch, but this actually resembles more of that same kind of duller gold as we saw on the back end of the heel. You're gonna have that gold stitch here. So when you put them side by side with the Akron pair, you can see definitely two completely different stitches, but similar color blocking style with the white tongue, the green patch, and then the green border around it. But a different switch up here on this pair, you actually have white on the fabric all behind the tongue. Now these come standard with a pair of all green laces and honestly, it ties in oh so well. I think this will look dope with gold laces or with sail laces or with white laces. But either way, I like how these look with these laces. Now looking at the collar of the shoe, you're gonna have that same premium leather all throughout the collar, but this time it's gonna be in a white leather. And then like how we saw the LeBron James logo on the inside of the sock liner, this time it says LeBron's name spelled out with a green sock liner and then a gold tech. So at the end of the day, these are two ultra rare Nike Dunk Lows that a lot of people just don't get their chances to see online, especially with clear images and all those things. So I'm glad to be able to present that to you guys today. And again, if you wanna see any other videos like this of rare or limited sneakers or stuff that had never been seen before, check out the playlist at the end of this video. I have a fully curated playlist filled with a ton of rare sneakers that you just don't see so often. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and drop a comment down below and I'll see you guys in another one I would never let you down yo if you made it to the end of this video I want to take your collection to the next level I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well so if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses this is definitely gonna be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate so hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside That's in my DNA. Hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware of one of those. I would never let let you down it's in my DNA the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it it's in the DNA